It's bragging rights, you know, you want to walk around the city and give, give everyone in the city bragging rights as well. There was like a goal against uh, Everton away late on in the game, you know, like 88th minute or something like that. And it's like when you score that late in the game to in a derby to seal the points, bragging rights in the city, you know, I see people in the city all the time, I'm always in the city. So I see Everton fans and I had an Everton fan talking to me in a store one time and he was telling me, you know, if you score, I'm not going to serve you and all these types of things. You, you tweeted the other week and you said that the best feeling in the world is, is scoring a goal. Um, do, you, do you really believe that? Or that I genuinely yeah. do. I feel that I've got no kids, so I don't know what that feeling's like. So I wouldn't, you know, want to say that, you know, I know what that feeling is. I don't know what it is. So, you know, for me, the experiences I've had, and I'm talking about goals in, in games which you can't compare the feeling like when I scored at the World Cup, it's something that you can't, the feeling when you, when you do it, it's amazing. You've had a long time out injured, that's got to have been disheartening for you, but how are you feeling now? Obviously disappointing for myself, but I'm grateful to God for all I've been through, so I'm not worried about you know the injuries. I'm just gonna, gonna put my best foot forward now, work as hard as I can with the boys and, and to um, enjoy the rest of the season. How has it been watching? You feel a bit of pressure because that's what a lot of Liverpool supporters are speaking about. When is Daniel Story gonna come back into our side? Do you feel that pressure? It comes with the territory, doesn't it? And I think that it's just important to put my best foot forward to work as hard can as I can. Can you embrace it though? Can you embrace of that course. a little bit? I mean, you know, you have to. I think if you if you don't embrace it then you won't be able to, to shoulder it, you won't be able to handle it. You live for these moments in life to to be able to to get back playing from an injury and to enjoy the you know the games going into the end of the season and to to hope to have some success. It's been hard to watch, very hard to watch the team play games and we've had difficult periods, but we've we've been playing very well and we've been unfortunate in a lot of games. We've had a really good certainly time last season before he got injured playing up front with with Luis Suarez. He's not been in the best of form. I granted since he's gone, he's got quality players around him. But do you think he, he missed that partnership that he had with you? I don't know. I mean, I feel he's, he's playing with Messi and Neymar, two two of the best players out there. But the partnership we had was 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 top class. It was quality. But you know, I feel that he's at he's at a place now in his career where he's he's probably happy and he's difficult to settle in. It's not easy to just hit the ground running at a club irrelevant of how much money he's spent. Do you feel you can form some some sort of strike partnership with Mario Balotelli? You know, a lot of said between you two. You know, when you played that game at Tottenham together, looked as though something could have been forming. Do you feel? you can help bring the best out in him as well? I hope so. I mean, whatever team the manager chooses, uh, you know, I'll be more than happy to play with anybody. I get along with Mario off the pitch and we, we share a lot of jokes together and on the pitch. He, he, he wants to do well and he wants to, to, um, to be successful just like I do and just like ev everyone else. So, um, you know, I'm sure we'd be able to play well together anyway. I don't have any doubts about that. Why, why do you think it's not quite happened for Mario since he's come in though? Why, why do you think that's the case? I'm not too sure. I think it's, it's difficult for anybody to join a new club and, yeah. and to instantly be successful. So, you know, it takes time for players to settle in. Do you think it's the expectation of the club, the scrutiny, the intensity that he's feeling? I would say so. I think he's played at some top clubs and he's, yeah. and he's been successful there too. So I just did feel it. sometimes it doesn't come off straight away and it takes time for players to settle in. And, you know, he'll settle in and he's, I feel he is settled now. And he'll start performing. It's only a matter of time. You know, it's, it's, it's not um, a case of if, it's when. You know when he'll start scoring goals and when he'll start playing at his best. Captain Stephen Gerrard's leaving at the end of the season. Would that be something that you'd have your eyes on being captain? It's a hard act to follow, isn't it? You know, what I mean, I think it's these shoes to fill. Sometimes I look at him and I'm just like, man, this guy is unbelievable. I'm disappointed that I didn't, you know, seal the title from last season. It would have been great to to have him win the Premier League, and I think that's something that. You know, he'll be thinking, you know, what if, but he's achieved so much. It's a shame he's, he's had to leave because it'll be very difficult to replace him on the pitch and off the can pitch. You, how can you replace him? I think you can't replace him. I think it's, it's irreplaceable. He'll always be one of the greatest players in world football and, of course, in Liverpool's history. I don't think there's anyone better than Stevie, to be honest with you. I think he's the, the greatest player to play for Liverpool. Yeah.